A new poll says Americans think legal cannabis is successful. The state of California has been awarded additional funding for social equity programs. And we have an international legalization update from what might be a surprising source. It's Thursday, April 23rd, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. A new poll says the majority of Americans think cannabis legalization is a success. According to Marijuana Moment, YouGov asked more than 27,000 adults about states where cannabis had been legalized for recreational purposes and whether they think the legalization has been a success or a failure. 55% of respondents in the poll released on Monday said that regulated cannabis markets are either complete successes or at least more of a success than failure. 13% said they were more of a failure than success, and just 6% said they were total failures. Interestingly, while only 11 states currently allow adult-use cannabis sales, there wasn't a significant variation in responses among individuals in different regions of the country. As more states have opted to legalize cannabis, public support has consistently increased over the years. Gallup released a survey last year that showed 66% of Americans are now in favor of the policy change. Support for medical cannabis legalization is even greater. In fact, YouGov released a poll last month that showed a majority of adults agree that dispensaries should be kept open as essential services during the coronavirus pandemic. California provides another $30 million for cannabis social equity programs. According to MJ Biz Daily, California awarded an additional $30 million to 16 different cities and counties to bolster social equity programs, which are designed to get victims of the war on drugs more directly involved in the legal cannabis industry. The new grant money is on top of $10 million dispersed by the state last fall for social equity programs. The lion's share of the new funding, nearly $29 million, went to local governments that already have social equity programs in place, including Long Beach, L.A., Oakland, Sacramento, San Francisco, and Humboldt and Mendocino counties. Oakland was the top recipient with $6.5 million. Mendocino County was at the bottom with $2.2 million. At least $23 million of that funding pool would go directly to qualified social equity businesses in the form of loans or grants, according to a news release from the Bureau of Cannabis Control and Governor Gavin Newsom's Office of Business and Economic Development. Much of the funding is earmarked for small business support services, according to the release. These services include technical assistance to individuals, reduced or waived licensing fees, assistance in recruitment, training and retention of a qualified and diverse workforce, and business resilience such as emergency preparedness. Lebanon has passed medical and industrial cannabis legalization. Lebanon's parliament passed medical cannabis legalization on Tuesday. However, according to a Newsweek report, there is some skepticism whether the law can be successfully implemented due to opposition from Hezbollah and their political allies. In addition to allowing cannabis cultivation for medical purposes, the measure aims to create an industry for cannabis health and wellness products, such as CBD, along with industrial hemp. The move was recommended by the nation's economic advisors prior to the coronavirus pandemic as the country faces an $80 billion debt and defaulted on its debt for the first time last month, the report says. In 2018, Raed Khoury, Lebanon's former caretaker minister for economy and trade, told Bloomberg News that legalization of medical cannabis and industrial hemp could bring in about $1 billion USD annually to state coffers. Activists have called for broad legalization, including amnesty for most cannabis-related drug charges and sentence reduction policies, but those measures were sent back to a parliamentary committee for further review. Hilal Kashan, a professor of political studies and public administration at the American University of Beirut, told Newsweek that Hezbollah would need to, quote, get its share from the implementation of the new law if they are to accept its ratification. Kashan noted that Hezbollah is a primary beneficiary of Lebanon's illegal cannabis trade. And that was today's Morning Buzz. Come see what industry professionals are saying and join the conversation with the cannabis community at trichomes.com. Our beta is now open, so be sure to sign up. It's free. And be sure to keep up with us on all social media platforms. 
You can also subscribe to our podcast and the Tricomes YouTube channel for daily content. My name is Allison Benyehuda. My name is David Fortson. Take care.